Okay, so this is an urbanism channel, so you're probably pretty aware that we are big fans of trains, but you might not know, I'm also a huge fan of dinosaurs, because who isn't? Like, there are, there are a few things that everybody loves. Everybody loves dinosaurs, everybody loves trains. There's just something, something about them, right? They're these fossilized ancient creatures that don't exist anymore, but we have these remains and we get to reconstruct them and kind of use our imagination as well as some biology. Cool stuff, okay? In this video, I'm going to combine trains and dinosaurs to create possibly the single best idea I have ever had. And honestly, it might be the best idea anyone's ever had. So buckle up, get ready for something fun with very little math, very few numbers. We're, we're having fun here and we're presenting an idea that I came up with and that I think is freaking sick. Okay, so, okay. <clears throat> there is a museum not far from my house. It's in Drumheller. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive away. It's called the Royal Tyrell Museum. It's a dinosaur museum, and it's one of my favorite museums of all time. You enter, and it's got these beautiful plants and, and creatures and animatronics, and there's a big window where you can watch paleontologists doing their work. It's a fantastic museum. I'm a huge fan of museums, and this is one of my favorites. But there's a problem. The Royal Tyrell Museum is located in virtually the middle of nowhere. It's located in the Canadian Badlands, which is this beautiful landscape. It's flat as far as the eye can see, and then suddenly you descend into a valley, and you can see the strata, you can see the different eras of rock inside the sides of the ravine. Okay, it's a stunning, stunning place to be. And it's also very good for dinosaur bones. It's great to find fossilized remains there. So we have this museum, the Royal Tyrell Museum. Fantastic museum. Again, one of my favorites. The nearest town is Drumheller. And Drumheller, it's, it's right there, but it's not a big place. Drumheller has a population of about 8,000 people. It's not a huge place. You're not going to Drumheller. You're going to the museum. Uh, there are other things to see in the area, so don't discount it. But I got thinking, boy, it sure would be nice if this place were easier to visit. Well, now it can be with <laughs> the Dino Express. Okay, picture this. You get off of the airplane at Calgary's International Airport, or maybe we're taking the train from the future Central Station. Okay, Station Centrale in, in Calgary. Okay, uh, whatever. We're taking the train from whatever this main station is, whether it's at the airport or it's in the center of the city. Either way, you're wandering around and you're thinking like, I'm a tourist here. I came specifically for Banff, Calgary's massive tourist attraction the, in the other direction, to the wards, the mountains. But I want to see some things in the city I landed in. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized city, especially for Canada. Let's see what's going on. And as you're walking around, you you happen upon this great mural with beautiful artwork of dinosaurs and some fossils on display that you can see and, and behold and be amazed because, again, everyone loves dinosaurs. Now, here's the other part everybody loves. Again, trains. Everybody loves trains. Everybody loves dinosaurs. You see the ticket booth. You walk over to the ticket booth and you say, what is this? And they say... <laughs> Well, it's a museum, of course. It's the Royal Tyrell Museum. <laughs> Would you like to enter? And you say, of course I'd like to enter. I love dinosaurs. And they say, well, I hope you like trains as well. Because, baby, you're about to hop on a train. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, a, tr a train? I thought this was a museum. My friend, it is. You get on the train. After getting your ticket, you board the train. You sit down. And then the train is ready to depart. And shades come down and the lights dim, and suddenly it turns into a cylindrical planetarium. And you hear, we will now be traveling back in time, 69 million years ago to the age of the dinosaurs. And you feel the train start speeding up, and you start seeing these TARDIS swirls coming all around the train. And you're like, oh my goodness, I'm in a freaking time machine back to the past it's a train to dinosaurs and it's time travel and you're rolling along and for the hour or so 
because you got to get to the museum anyways. And I promise you, it's worth the trip. All of my friends that come here, I take them to the museum and they think, well, I love dinosaurs because we know everyone loves dinosaurs. But I'm not sure I want to drive almost two hours to go see a museum and then drive two hours back. Like, and we see other things out there, of course. But the museum is the draw, okay? But they always love it. Sound off in the comments. If I've been your tour guide here and you loved seeing the Royal Tyrell Museum, if that was worth it to you, tell, please share with the, please share with the class. So you're on the train, you're traveling back in time. It's an hour presentation explaining things, kind of getting you in the mood for the museum. And then as you enter the ravine, as you see the strata, the shades lift up and you look around you and you see the history and then it says welcome to the royal tyrell museum you step off the train you tour the museum just as it is now you see all these magnificent fossils found all over the province and all over the world you learn more about these dinosaurs that you've traveled back in time to witness and then at the end of it you shop at the cafe you get a little gift for yourself, send a postcard home, say, wow, I had the most amazing dinosaur train ride ever. And then you get back on the train and you head back to Calgary. Now, of course, a few issues with this. This does bypass a lot of the cool natural things that you can see in the area. But that's why I think it's important to incorporate what natural features are immediately around the museum. That The museum's already done some of that as well. So... Overall, I think it's a pretty fantastic idea. Will this happen? Is this something that would happen? I don't know. But also, I think it's important to think of crazy and interesting ideas because we can do this stuff. We can build interesting things. I think part of building a humane city is that you put your crazy ideas out there. You share with the class. You let people respond. And you see what happens. But I think that's all part of building a better city, a humane city. Thanks for watching this short video. I just had to I just had to get that off my chest. I just I just love trains so much and I love dinosaurs. I love the Royal Tyrell Museum. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's another kind of novelty uh, train that you think could exist somewhere or an interesting project that already does exist like this. Um, yeah, share your crazy ideas too. Thanks for watching. Oh, and when I suggested this idea to my great aunt, she suggested that there should be a stop in Rosebud for their dinner theater. So I'm going to slip that in there as well. Why not? Oh, what if we had dinner theater on the train with the dinosaurs in a theater production? Okay, I feel the next good idea coming on.